Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got David writing in from uh, India, and uh, he is asking about uh, what camera to buy. He's got some Nikon and Canon choices here. He says, hello, I'm from India, and I've decided to purchase a camera. My picks are the Nikon D7200, the Canon EOS 80D, and EOS 7070. Photography is my primary usage, and maybe a little videography, brackets, photo, video, 80 to 20. So in other words, 80% photography, 20% video. Usage includes general photography and portraits, maybe a little low-light photography. The prices my region are, the 77D with the 18 to 135 is $990 US. The 80D with the 18 to 135 is $1125 US. The Nikon D7200 with the 18 to 140 is $975 US. I prefer the 18 to 120 mil over the 18 to 55 or the 120 plus mil. So he's saying he likes the longer zoom that he's, he's noted there. I would like to pair them with a prime lens, 50 mil preferably. They are priced at the Canon EF 50 mil F14 USM at 286 US. And the Nikon 50 F14D is 290 and F14G is 440. Which do you think is the best pick? If Nikon D7200, should I prefer the D-type over the G-type as it has a motor in the body? Or would you prefer the mirrorless cameras at this price? The size of the machine doesn't matter to me. The quality of the picture does. So portability isn't an issue. Thank you, David. Thanks for your question, David. Good thoughts. I could see you've already been, um, you know, really drilling into this and considering pricing versus what you're getting and whatnot. My initial thought here is D7200 is a fantastic camera, but it is not a great video camera in comparison to either the 77D or the 80D. Basically, those cameras with their very angle LCDs, the touchscreen LCDs, and the dual pixel AF, those two things make them much better video cameras than the D7200. So with video being some concern, I would lean in this situation to, to um, probably the 80D. I like the 80D over the 77 because it's got that little bit more professional body and some of the more features of the – it's a little higher up the chain. I don't have any problem with the 77D at all, and you're saving, what, $135, and that might, you know, go towards your lens. So if you want to go that route, that's fine. So I would go with either the 77D or the 80D, and the 18 to 135 is one of my favorite kit lenses for those. It's one of my one of the best value-priced Canon lenses, so I think that's a good idea. Um, the Canon EF50 uh, F1.4 USM 286, you might want to consider the F1.8 STM. I think that's a great lens too, and it'll save you some money. I believe they're around 100 and a quarter US. So again, save some money there. And then the other point you you point out, and I, I'll address as well the D7200. If you do decide to go to the D7200, um, I wouldn't worry about it um, between the D and the G. Um, but really, I mean, you could save the money on the D. It's a great lens. If you want to spend a little bit extra and get the G, don't have a problem with that either. I mean, I have a 1.4D lens right now, and I quite like it. So, And I got it for um, used for 200 Canadian, so maybe 150 or less US. So you might want to look at the used market. Mine looks brand new. It was the person that owned it kept it mint in the box, not a scratch on it. If I showed it to you, you'd think it could come off the shelf. Anyways, um, the last point that you said, would you prefer the mirrorless camera at this price? You said the size of the machine doesn't matter to you. The picture quality does. Well, to me, the mirrorless is an advantage for size and weight, but you're saying that doesn't matter. But the picture quality is going to be just as good on something like the Canon M50, the new Canon M50 with its 24-megapixel sensor. You have dual-pixel AF, and you've also got a better video camera. It is also 4K-enabled. So for me, I would take a serious hard look at the uh, M50. I don't know what the price is in your area. It may be price prohibitive, but if the 80D is at that price, I'm thinking you could get the M50 at about the same or even less. And that's probably the route I would look at going because you can use all of the other lenses with the EOS M adapter. So that's what I would do. I'm going to throw it back to our viewers as always. What would you guys do in this situation? 77D, 80D, D7200? I'm suggesting the M50. Is there something else you would suggest? Let us know in the comments which route you would go, what you would buy in, in David's situation here, and why. Let's help out David. It's always great to hear your feedback as well. It gives our viewers, when they write in with a question, a more rounded amount of feedback, different opinions, and more to consider before they make their decision. Thanks for your question, David. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.